Payday, payday, you want payday? I know that. The winner of this week's fight between Canelo Alvarez and Jermail Charlo will receive what you guys see on the screen. The WBC has announced they have the Puebla belt for the fight this weekend. The winner, either Canelo or Jamel Charlo, will receive that. That's what I want to talk about right here in this video. Brand new belt by the WBC. What does it mean? What are my thoughts on the fight? So stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. So again, you guys see it on the screen. This is the WBC Puebla belt. And you see the decorations. They got different flags, pretty intricate stuff. And the winner of the Canelo fight, Charlo, Showtime pay-per-view. This is the side of it. Will receive this coveted belt that they've made, especially for the winner, right? I mean, it looks cool. Just to give you guys some more, here's some more pictures of it. And then I'll give you guys my thoughts. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. So it's, it's decorated, decked out. This is again coming from the WBC. Now, this fight, they're labeling it undisputed versus undisputed. You guys see in the picture Canelo Alvarez at 168 pounds. He literally has all the belts. And he got it by, it culminated in him beating Caleb Plant. That's the final boss that he fought to capture this achievement of undisputed. We know that Jamel Charlo himself has all the belts in his division at 154 as we speak. Now, the night of the fight, they've already announced the WBO says they're stripping Jermail Charlo. So Jermail Charlo, when they announce it, they're going to announce him and give him the respect and announce him as the undisputed at junior middleweight 154. But immediately thereafter, they're stripping him. The winner of Tim Zhu versus Brian Mendoza will win his his old WBO title. So that's how that works. I know they're labeling it undisputed versus undisputed, but in a short minute, Jermel Charlo will no longer be undisputed technically. Same thing happened with Josh Taylor. Josh Taylor was undisputed after beating Jose Ramirez. And then shortly after he was forced to vacate some of the belts. Now make sure you guys follow me at Boxing Ego One on the gram. I give you guys all the news, the latest and greatest. We have almost 40,000 over there. So make sure you guys join that. I'll give you guys a moment to do that. The link is in the description to all my social medias as well. So you don't miss a thing. If you love boxing, you're getting to learn it. You've been a longtime fan. Then I got the platforms for you. So my thoughts on the belt, the WBC, you can argue with your girl and the WBC will come out <laughs> with a belt. It's like, this is the marriage belt. You know what I mean? They always come up with a belt miscellaneously. They want to be a part of the event, be a part of the fight. And if it's Floyd, May easy work. Like I said before, hard work, dedication, hard work, dedication. He's a young, hungry lion. Floyd, when he fought Conor McGregor, the WBC popped up and they came out with a belt. This is at this point for me it's to be expected that the WBC is going to find a way to get involved. Canelo, it's a big fight. Charlo, they're both champions and both hold the WBC, the, the regular title in their respective divisions. Charlo's moving up 14 pounds to fight Canelo pay they now. Surprisingly, as far as the fight, I love the fight. I will be ordering it. I'm also doing the Boxing Ego watch party. So make sure you come back here on Saturday so we can get it cracking. Boxing Ego watch party is to happen in place to cover the fights. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Come back Saturday because this fight, I don't even know what to expect, to be honest, because there's a big mystery based on the fact that your male charlo is people are saying daring to be great and he's moving up such in such a way and he's moving up so many pounds where i really don't even know what to make of this fight this definitely wasn't my first choice of a fight but canelo alvarez he does what he does and he picked him and this is the fight we're getting a lot of people giving 
Jamel Charlo a chance. If Canelo was still at 160, I will say this. If Canelo was still at 160 pounds and Jamel was at 54, then I would pick Jamel for sure. If it was just like he's moving up one weight class. Canelo, in my opinion, he hasn't looked so hot. I also think Canelo, more than people think, has had some distractions. I literally believe I was the first person to bring this to the forefront. Now you see different people mentioning it. But I was the first to mention on my platforms about Canelo golfing. Now, I don't have a problem with someone having a favorite hobby or a pastime. But boxing is not that type of sport. Boxing is not the type of sport where you can have one foot out and one foot in in the sport of boxing and not be dedicated. You got someone really that this is life and death, or it could be, depending on who you get in there with. And I just haven't seen somebody do what Canelo has done, where he's showing up in silk pajamas. And he also had a steady of steady diet of like European, Eastern European fighters when he was on the zone and they allowed that. So at the end of the day, that's a far cry from what you're facing. Jermail Charlo has an American style. He's naturally taller than you. He has the ability to add to his frame. And if it weren't for him moving up two weight classes, then I would comfortably pick Charlo. However, Canelo has a great chance here as well, based on the fact that he's the bigger guy. He has definitely has a chin. He's showed that. In his past fights, he's taken punches from Golovkin and, and things like that. So for me, this wasn't my number one choice of fight. That would have probably been David Benavidez and Canelo. But I think the biggest level of intrigue is the curiosity factor based on the fact that Charlo's not of this weight class. So with that being said, we really truly don't know. Because you see, in this fight with Amir Khan was doing very well for four rounds versus Canelo. But... Over time, Canelo was able to catch him and slow him down in the fifth round. And then he bah, just caught him with the right hand and Khan was sleep. He was sleepless in Seattle. That's the thing. When you give up so much weight, it ain't no telling. It's no telling how you respond to punches from a guy who's been fighting at and campaigning at a higher weight class. I, I really don't know. I don't really have a prediction for this fight fully. There's different things where I can picture both guys winning, you know, like I can make a case for either guy. The biggest thing is how Charlo looks with the added weight. If he looks like the same fighter at 54 and he's managing and handling the weight in the best possible way, he can give Canelo a whole lot of problems. But I'll further break that down on my channel. Make sure you guys subscribe and stay tuned for that. I am the best in the business. You guys see everything that I'm doing in the world of boxing. You see the quality, both audio and visual. Subscribe to the channel. I'm the best in the business, and it's not even close. I will see you for the watch party this weekend. You dig? Introducing Super Thanks. Right here on the official Boxing Ego YouTube. Super Thanks allows you, the viewers, to show a little bit of extra gratitude, which enables me as a full-time content creator to push out the content you need in the world of boxing. Underneath all the videos, you will see a heart with the dollar sign in it. You can enter any amount that you find suitable as a super thanks. A brand new interactive and colorful way to get your comments highlighted and noticed by not only myself, but other people on the YouTube platform. Super thanks, a unique and cool way to show and applaud us full-time content creators. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Super thanks. The future is now. The Hybrid Nation 5s by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB and extreme bass mode. The Hybrid Nation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, gym or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered. The new Hibernation 5s, link in the description. Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation. Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Consider TubeBuddy. 
I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We work.